Hey everyone, I want to show you something quite cool today which I searched on YouTube and not found anything relevant so I think this is a first or at least some such. Uh, the way this whole thing came to me was one of my friends actually came to me with bits of this issue and then I, I did a bit of digging and figured out what is after this doable. So ultimately the idea is that you have a bunch of emails in your Outlook and I'm, I've am i set up my own exchange server on a virtual computer because obviously GDPR and personal data we can't do a proper company Outlook being presented here um, but you'll get the idea even from these six or seven emails and you can apply this whole logic to your own inbox and just do the analysis so I'm splitting the video into two parts. The one, the first part's going to be a bit shorter and it's going to be a lot easier, which is what you're listening to. And all we are doing in the first part is connecting Excel to work directly out of Microsoft Exchange or Outlook, if you if you please, and just do a really basic analysis on this fact and you're not going to use any macros you're not going to use anything particularly complicated and then the second part I'll show you what we achieved um, with my other friend and also how to do a slightly more complicated analysis again still without doing uh, VBA but it's going to be a bit more into the pivots and count ifs and such things so so first things first as I said I have uh, an Outlook system set up here and um, we're using sent items because in my case that's easier but you don't need to bother about that too much in, in a real environment this is going to work just fine and we're going to be looking at how many emails there are what categories they are when they've been sent to whom they've been sent and such things and where you can make a good use of this is places like call centers, human resources, departments or any departments where you don't really have an analytical tool but I, we picked HR because that was relevant for us and uh, and um, I actually think there is a genuine lack of HR analytical solutions on the market and they, they should be shown more and there should be more. So. Um, Without further ado, the idea is, in my case, that you have a bunch of emails um, they've all been sent to myself, but you know, don't bother. And then you have categories for each of the emails. Um, now, the idea is you have certain things that start with one and they would belong into one group and then certain things so you know like subject and then two would be the team and three would be the region um, for the second part of the video we'll be analyzing this specific stuff but I think if you understand um, pivot tables and count ifs and all the others then you'll be able to figure out how to do this on your own if you don't understand pivot tables then probably the second half is going to be a bit too much for you but you can still watch the first half and it's going to be fun and you will notice that this one it has an attachment while none of the others do but also it's missing the second category that's on purpose so Let's get Excel to talk to Outlook. No, I'm not replying. I'm pressing Ctrl R. Blank workbook. Uh, you need 2016, I think. Or anyway, uh, don't know if it works in 2013. And if you have 365, you should be fine. So go into data, get data, other sources, and pick exchange to load the .NET and it's going to ask you an email which in my case is this and initially it will ask for your password as well as a few other things possibly I've done this a few hours ago so no such thing on my uh, computer now but we can also analyze things like the calendar or the people and the tasks but we're not doing any of that we're just doing mail for now and pick mail 
you can happily ignore all this and also ignore the fact that the preview only shows three emails in sent items because that was updated a while ago again takes a bit of time to load and what you have is each of your emails um, don't know why it appears both in Outbox and Sent Items. In all fairness, it hasn't been delivered to my other account, so I think that's, that's a bug on my uh, Windows Server setup site, but I don't usually deal with Exchange or a server, so this took me long enough to set up. So um, let's focus on what's real. And we have, it says we have five emails. Um, that is indeed five. So it's correct and you know you have all the subjects all the to whom it has been sent uh, cc's date times uh, usual stuff one of them has attachment two of them have a body uh, ids are not particularly relevant but we'll use them for counts and you will notice that the categories are missing uh, panic not you do edit and you have the categories as a list now what you want to do here is extract values and it's going to ask what delimiter you want now you want to use a character that otherwise doesn't appear in your category so if your categories originally never have a comma then pick comma uh, you know because we will be using the delimiter in the second half and that's going to be relevant. So in my case, I don't use comma, so that will do. And it does a bit of thinking. And again, the preview was uploaded, updated almost an hour ago. So it doesn't line up with reality just fine. Doesn't matter. Um, there you go, now it works. So let's say close and load. And it does a bit of thinking and we have all the categories now so whoop whoop and you'll notice as i said that one of them is missing a number two and that's on purpose it's basically to demonstrate human stupidity and we'll deal with that in the second part now as a final finale whatever to the first part i'll show you how to do a really quick summary and then i'll let you get on with your day so insert pivot and your range is mail uh, which is the default and click ok and your accounts are going to be the ids it could be anything else but counts are never blank i think and you know you can start filtering on things like which folder you want and uh, who it's been sent to in my case it's always going to be me but you get the idea you could do things like time sent and again in my case these are the hours so sent a few around noon sent a few around 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. but you can do your grouping according to days or months or usual stuff in my case this all has been done today and Excel noticed that so it's not offering any such thing um, but yeah you can do your date groups um, you know, if you're doing stuff by your analyst, like you have a HR inbox and you have a whole bunch of people working on it, you can use that again as a category or some other means that you can then bring in here and analyze by person. I'm going to get rid of all this because that's just for demonstration purposes. And you know, how many have attachments? We know that one does. Uh, yeah. So that's your super basic how to connect uh, to exchange and how to do a basic summary now in part two i'm going to make this slightly more complicated and we'll see how we get on it's quite fun and see how you get on with it Done a few bits of analysis in your company inbox uh, you you'll be able to do charts on this and all that magic and do the presentations and then you know get on analyzing what the hell's going on in your company so that marks the end of part one and then part two will come up shortly.